Welcome to the Bible Nerd Show. Into His Word, let us go, go, go. Your knowledge of the Bible soon will grow. You'll be surprised at what you'll soon know. The Bible Nerd Show. Hello and welcome to the show. This is the conquering line of Judah, the all-powerful Holy One, or Steve for short. On today's show we're going to install Logos for Windows 3.11111. Uh, in order to do that we have to install something else. DOSBox. DOS box. Just operating system downloads. Programmer Programmer X question mark question mark Windows Win32 installer Can you control J? I can okay. Zero seconds Zero seconds Zero zero Save file We're going to compare Greek and Hebrew on Logos to the Greek and Hebrew on Esau 11, 10, 11, as a joke, and to see if Logos 3.1 can compete. It says failed, but it is just my virus checker being snarky. It's still downloaded. All we have to do is change that. So I don't know why it does that, but uh, it likes to fail on executable files. Scan DOS box? No, I already did that yesterday. Righty ho! No sound. I like it when there's no sound. It's because you got the TV down. Okay. Not that that's going to make a difference. Next. Next. Install. Right, so we open the config file, push the enter button. Mount C as C DOS. And then image mount E as C dis that's where my ISOs are and three one one dot ISO minus T which stands for something ISO save and Open up DOSBox. What do we get? See, there's nothing in it. Hey. Okay, so if we go E, set up bar IS, which is what I used for Windows 95. I don't know if you're supposed to use that or not. Install it to Windows, accept. with your elbow like that. Okay, that's good to bump the camera. 7%. <coughs> Windows for Workgroup 3.11 files are being copied onto your hard disk. For more information about setting up and using Windows for Workgroup 3.11, see your Windows documentation. Don't have any. How about this one? That's a lot of documentation. It's got Windows 3.1 stuff. In. Oh, I've got a Windows 3.1 book. I just don't know where it is. Did you know that 
Snapper Cane L1 Flighter Perspective Ops Spillerman. Anyone that speaks German will be giggling, laughing uncontrollably. There's a whole map on this. Focus. Um, it's setting up. Isn't that exciting? This, this, yeah, I forgot the numpad doesn't work. You'll have to blur out the um, my personal serial number, as in it really is my own. It's not a pirated one or anything, right? Because I've got all my floppy disks on a CD-ROM, backed up onto a CD-ROM. From the old old days. Actually, it's also backed up onto a zip drive, which I'll pull out and show you one day for a bit of nostalgia. Now, pbrush.exe is installed, so we've always wanted to install pbrush.exe ever since I started playing with my Kinect. <laughs> oh yeah, Nike Motion Works. Concentrate. It's going fast. That's going a lot faster than my good machine. <laughs> Why is installing stuff on an old dodgy machine faster than a new one? Don't ask, you'll never get the answer. Okay, well, this will be my Logos machine because look at that, everything's installing faster. I can use the mouse properly. It's like installing it in less than a second. Incredible. That's all right. So then you go C, CD Windows, Win. And if all goes well, it loads. But there's no sound, so what do you do? You go. Oh, the mouse is working. That's, that's fast. Uh, it's kind of not now. In one. You go drivers. Add sound blast to 1.5 for some reason. It doesn't like 1.0. It keeps complaining that your thing is too new. 227. And then it complains, but it works. We start now. And woo, listen to that all day long. So why do you need the sound? Because Logos has something very special. Right, so you can go. Oh, why is the mouse so bad now? I don't know. The more you install it, the worse the mouse gets. So these are my original Logos discs. The first thing to do is get the mouse going. Maybe there's a mouse setup that you have to do. But it only does this while you're recording the screen, so it doesn't matter. I can get there set up. I made it. just to not bother right now how to swap floppies Be 
is to get the old floppy disk ready to insert disk number two, disk number three, disk number 1060. It's done. Don't have to worry about that anymore. Just have to worry about minimizing windows. Oh, it must be a mouse fix or something. The hardest part of installing it is getting the mouse. Right, Greek. This is Nestle Island 26. Nestle, I should start saying. Nestle Island 26, UBS 3rd. Scrivener, the Texas Receptus. Okay. And the Byzantine majority text. 26, isn't that what you've got? Oh, it's holding up the camera. My, my 26th edition is propping up the camera at the moment, so I can't show you. Hebrew. This is the VHS, obviously. Ublaka Hebraica Stutka Benthia, which is propping up that laptop. <laughs> okay, now tense, tense, moose, and voice, as I used to call it. The most important one, which is why we didn't tick that thing before, because this has all the tense. Voice mood with Strong's numbers and then Heart Strong's lexicon. Isn't that exciting? I'm going to swap the discs. I think there's a four. Is there four discs? For... No, I can't. What have been one floppy for that? I don't know. Drop them all on the floor. That's the best way to drop all your floppies. Remember when you used to do that all the time? Right. Now the only other thing is the Bible Atlas. Oh, you can do it. Now we can install it to Logos this time. And that to Logos this time. I can't remember why I started doing that, but there was a reason back in the day. E stands for electronic goat device. in a survey from 200 years. Oh, it's done it again. Every single time. I can't believe that. Every single time. It's like a nightmare. You've got to copy Invented, right? No, I'm going to delete you because hopefully it's all in there. Yay! Now, okay. So what I was trying to do for a thingy, but you haven't installed the font sheet. Before you install the fonts, you go preferences, save on exit, load on startup. And you play that noise. You have sound effects. Exit. Doesn't 
isn't that exciting I just feel the excitement of that so that's not how you install pots you go control panel pots add mac fonts true for select all copy fonts to windows directory and close and exit so we should have fingers crossed Hebrew is that the map I think it's the that one okay. Hebrew and Greek you journey text edition well obviously um, having gone over my rent this <laughs> doesn't have any strongs numbers above the Greek words so how usable is it really gonna be I don't know so anyway you go italics, strongs, numbers, translator notes, red leader, oh there we go, yeah but that's only for the King James, it doesn't work for the Hebrew, and it doesn't go on top of the Byzantine, or, oh okay, so it's a waste of time then, oh good, <laughs> oh no, uh, so you go, that's why I put that there, Logos Atlas installed, so you go see, Logos, that's why I put it all in the same directory. The excitement of that. So, Try this one last time. So, load Bible Atlas. Second Chronicles. Yeah, all right. So, yeah. 
wait for that brilliant sound then you go read the whatever and you go oh uh, Samaria CF 2 Kings 524 and there you go isn't that cool so let's load band in a box okay so we've got it running in 256 colors it took a while but I got the right graphics card installed uh, it still looks like garbage though for some reason it's got the dots but maybe it's always been like that so this is band in the box this is the program we're gonna have all the music that runs in the background running with this program isn't that exciting episode we will show you how to write actual songs using band in a box and I will be buying band in a box for Windows 10 the latest version and we'll compare the two together to see if there's any difference just like we're doing with Logos and eSword for no reason at all except for a, a blast from the past or back to the old days or whatever you want to call it so we've got Powertrax Pro, which is a MIDI player, I think. What's well, the sequence player anyway? Sounds really cool. Gee, I wish I could make music on that all day long. And of course we've got the classic mod player. And I've got I've only got 250,000 mod files, so, you know. Here we go. Oh, shoot. 